Hi friends, I'm Madhavta from Easy Approach and it's the 13th video of Flutter video series. So far we haven't talked about forms and taking inputs so much. So in this video we are going to play with forms in Flutter and we'll see how can we validate the data given by user so that we can further process it for what we are taking the input. Now firstly let's remove all the existing code of the default application. So you can just remove this and now let's make our own brand new stateless widget for the application. So you can give any name to it. So I'm giving my form and you have to give the reference of this stateless widget here. As we have done almost a million times. So at first you need to use here scaffold widget and inside it we have to define the body of the scaffold widget. And here we'll use the widget that is used to make forms. So it is called form. And inside this you have to define the child. And here you'll define uh, all the fields of the form. So I want every field to be in vertical uh, direction or in some vertical layout. So that is why I'm using here column widget. And now we can give any number of text form fields we want in this uh, column widget. And now we have to make field inside this column widget. So let's say we are taking here the name of user and let's make some standard like it should not be empty obviously and it should be greater than five characters. But let's first make field inside the form widget. Now we have two different widgets for making field. The first one is called text form field which we use whenever we want to make different fields inside the form widget. So if we have the different fields inside the form widget and you have to validate each of the fields, you have to use text form field. But there's one more widget that you can use. It is called just text field. And you use this uh, text field whenever you just have one single text field. So you don't really need to use this form widget. You can just use this text field in your app. So this is the difference between text form field and text field. And as we are making form and we would have different fields inside the form widget, we better need to use text form field. And now as we are taking username and it should not be empty and it should be greater than five. So we need to validate if the given value from user is non empty and greater than five. For this, we need to use here validator. And here you need to give here any name by which you'll get the text that, that would be given by the user in this field. And now you have to apply the validation rule inside this validator. Now let's make different cases for different validation rules. So the first case is the username should not be empty. So what we can do, we can use here if, and you can get the value that's given by user by using this value. And you just need to check if it is empty. So if it is empty, you have to return some error in a string. So you can use here your username or just username cannot be empty. And now we have to make other case. If the value length is less than five or less than equals to five because uh, the username should be greater than five. So we can use return And you can use username should be greater than five. And now in the else, as we don't have any other case, we can just use return null. And now this is it. We have created all the cases for validation. And now we need to have some button in the form so that whenever the user would tap on the button, we can start the validation process. So what we can do, we can uh, go inside the form widget and now we can make the flat button. So let's give a text inside the child. You can give any text like validate. And we can change the color. Let's give some text color like white. And we have to define the on press. And inside the on press, we need to start the validation. But before moving forward, let's see what's coming on the screen because we haven't run the application since we have created the project. So you can see the result of uh, the form. 
uh, but we should use here some container as well so that we can apply some padding so what we can do you can just cut this and you need to use here container and now we can apply some padding like of 32 pixels and in the child you just need to paste whatever you cut and if i refresh it oh 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 just refresh it so now it's it's better so now we have to start the validation process and now to use the validation function in the form you need to do one thing you need to associate a global key in the form widget so what we can do you just have to come at the top and now let's make a final variable key and you have to initialize it with the global key and now you need to give the type of the global key so it should be form state so that's it and now you can use uh, this key inside your form widget so now you just have to use this key there's a property inside the form widget which is key and you have to just use this key and now what we can do there is a function inside this key so you can call this so you first access your key and now there is current state and inside this you have a validation function so that's actually the validate so you have to call this and if it is true so you need to uh, give some sort of uh, message like uh, i'm just printing it on console your data is okay or your data is submitted but if it does not uh, return true or the validation is not successfully happen so it would show error inside this text form field or uh, below the text form field so if i run this let's open the console so that we can see oh uh, there's error some so you have to use here semicolon and now if i refresh it so the application is successfully restarted so now let's give some value in the field so that we can validate let's give my name maz aftab and as we have followed all these standards that the username is non-empty and it is actually greater than five so it should show this message that your data is submitted in the console so if i tap on this validate so you can see your data is submitted and now if i make this just mass and now it is actually less than five so it is only uh, of four lengths so if i click on validate it should show the error message that username should be greater than five so you can see here a uh, username should be greater than five message so you can give any message or if i give here something like just empty so if i click on this validate you can see the validate cannot but the username cannot be empty so if i uh, zoom a bit so you can see better so let's give something so you can see here username should be greater than five and if i just leave it empty you can see the username cannot be empty and you can have the number of fields inside the form widget you want so you can give any field and now and then you have to define uh, the validation rule inside uh, every field and whenever you would call this validate or validate function it would validate each of the fields inside the inside your form widget so this is it from this video in this video we have learned the form uh, widget and we have uh, uh, talked about the validation inside the form widget so in the next video we'll learn some new and latest topic so if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel and share the videos with those who want to learn flutter with easy approach so thank you for watching